super dangerous, obviously, and twice as illegal. Okay, now damage is done, so we just have to lie about it forever, or else we're gonna go to jail. Well, my lips are sealed. So, we're going again tomorrow? Sign me up. Can't wait to see this sucker for myself. Hey, got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. <sighs> wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in a fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Oh, come on. No one knows we've even been down there. And I don't think ghosts can talk. You Americans are all the same, huh? No respect for anyone else's traditions. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, sure, but, you know, nothing like what Fliss is talking about. Tell us a tale. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? Ah, well, down by the dockside, I found an ancient old man, skin like a leather book, eye patch, wooden leg, the whole nine yards. And for a dollar, he told me his secrets. Seems legit. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Shh. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed down on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe? I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet and says, 
He's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> yeah, so ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. But good effort. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? <laughs> uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Didn't you? How was I supposed to know they'd have no sense of humor? Bad news. Bad news? 
I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? I thought you were going to ask the good news first. You're such an idiot. Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they going to do to us? I don't even want to know. I gotta get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. You're gonna regret this, you piece of shit. You're gonna rot in a cell. <sighs> Be back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. You know how to treat a lady, right? Slow down. Easy. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? Surprise. Okay, they're coming. Oh. Fuck, motherfuckers. Julia, tell me what happened. They asked about our 
parents. What? How much money they have. We just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. got a gun. If we play our cards right, we can catch him by surprise. Take him out. If you can distract them, I can sneak around to the speedboat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Right now. Catch him with this old junker. Bring them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la, ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olsen! Come here! Which one of you is going to tell me about this Manchurian goo? break with that gangster shit. I don't think you fully comprehend the severity of your situation. 
Sister. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. I can't believe what I'm hearing. I just lost everything I have, and this is what you think? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, so. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything? Anything fishy. And there'll be consequences. Get it. Duke of Milan requesting weather update. Over. Yeah, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gotta hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. My, uh, my charter's been a little difficult. Not exactly going as planned. We're starting to have some serious problems with... Hey, just be careful. than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. <sighs> you appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time, 
but does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out, hmm? Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. is a floating death trap. Hey, hey! <gasps> Keep moving! Sign up for a trip to Creep Town. Pourquoi on se tire pas d'ici? Préférerais être n'importe où qu'ici. Vraiment envie de savoir ce qu'on va découvrir là. On continue. What are these guys gonna do with us now?
à y avoir de l'or ici. Ah Oh shit Okay, all of you, into the room. Hey, it's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Peut-être qu'on veut pas leur donner quelque chose. Captain? What the hell is this fucking place? It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. I guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Conrad went to get us help. We should wait for him. Well, I hope he figures out how to get himself to our new coordinates. So, what's the status of the Duke? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss, I just wanted to say that um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys, or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us, so, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Hmm, well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool. 